how you guys doing today? My name is Mr. Griffin. We're here at Griffin's Industrial Welding School. All right, today we're gonna go over how to run beads in a horizontal position using different techniques. Today we're gonna use what we call a 7018 low hydrogen rod. We're also gonna use our 6010 fast freeze rod and we're gonna show you how to run it in different techniques. This is getting us prepared for running the 2G groove. Okay, so whenever you get ready to run a bead, if you're using the low hydrogen rod, you normally want to keep your amperage between 100 and 150. We currently have our amperage on 125. Okay, if you'll see the machine, we currently have our amperage at 125. Anywhere between one and 150 is good when you're using the 1 8 rod. Okay, when you're doing the 2G, you always want to put the metal portion of the rod into the electrode holder. You don't want to put the electrode holder on the flux because it's going to be hard for you to strike it. Okay. Also, when we're doing 2G, we always want to angle the rod up, okay? We want to keep that rod angle up because gravity is going to pull it down, okay? So if we put it in straight, it's going to make our bead droop every time we rerun it, okay? So we're going to start off with what we call the stepping technique. All it is is a forward and back technique uh, using the 7018 electrode, okay? Watch your eyes. that cadence one two we keep the same cadence all the way through one two one you see we just go a little bit forward but we wait on our puddle we never get ahead of the puddle never get ahead of the puddle okay all right whenever you're done you take your electrode out Put your electrode holder to the side, put the electrode to the side, then we're gonna use our wire wheel to clean it, okay? Watch your eyes. Uncover. Okay, so as you can see, we just ran a uh, straight 7018 uh, horizontal bead using the stepping technique. Now we're gonna overlap that bead using the drag technique, okay? So we're gonna show you how to do a proper overlap. We're gonna use the same heat, okay? When we say heat, we're referring to the amperage, okay? So again, we wanna put our electrode in a horizontal position. We wanna angle it up because we know gravity is gonna pull it down, okay? So next I'm gonna run a bead right here on top using our drag technique, okay? Watch your eyes. See, all we're doing is dragging. We're not getting too close. We're staying right on the edge of the bead. Right on the edge of the bead. Let that puddle just barely graze the side of the bead. Barely graze it. Keep that consistent tempo. Let it barely graze with a consistent tempo. All the way down. And stop. Okay. Whenever you stop, you want to take your electrode out. Put your electrode holder to the side. Okay. We're gonna use our wire wheel again. Watch your eyes. Okay. All right, we're gonna run one more. This time we're gonna do the stringer technique. The stringer is like a tight zigzag motion. We're gonna put that right on top of the last bead that we just did. Okay. As you see, we're putting our rod in at an angle for the horizontal position so gravity does not pull it down. Okay? All right, watch your eyes. See, 
Yeah, you know, we're just slightly going up, real tight, staying in our puddle, keeping it real tight, real slight movement up, real nice tight slight movement up, with the stringer, nice tight slight movement up, staying in our puddle the entire time. Okay, we're going to take our electrode out. Put it to the side. Okay, watch your eyes. We can clean it a little more, but this is pro this is basically how you run six beads with a 6010 and a 7018 in those three different techniques. Okay. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to show you what to do if the rod gets stuck. Okay. So a lot of times when you're using your 6010 rod or your 7018 rod, the reason why we like to keep our amperage between 75 and 120 is because if we go under, now sometimes if you're doing open route, you need to go under 75. But if you go too low under 75, the rod is going to stick a lot with a 6010. Okay, with a fast free 6010 rod. Okay, the same goes for a 7018. You normally want to keep your amperage between 100 and 150. If you go below 100, you can still run it. It just means it's going to stick a little more often. Okay, watch your eyes. We see that the rod is stuck on purpose, right? So when that happens, when it sticks, you just give it a second. You don't want to fight with it and try to yank it off. Give it a second, let it cool itself down. Once it's cooled down, then all you got to do is pull it right off. Okay? It's a real simple process. Never fight with the rod because otherwise you're going to knock a lot of flux off of the rod. Okay? We're going to do the same with the 7018. If you're looking to enroll in a new career, you're in the right place. Welding is a career that's in high demand. There's a shortage of about 400,000 welders nationwide right now. So if you're really interested in learning this trade, you can sign up at griffinsindustrialweldingschool.com. You can also call us at 281-782. 9713. Again, that's 281 782 9713. And you can subscribe to us at Griffin's Industrial Welding School, where hard work comes before success.